Well, back down the hillside from my house once again. It's pretty steep down here. There's my dog house. My house is up there. It looks like I just found. It looks like it's likely a silver bracelet. Let's get these roots out there. Oh, it's got to be silver. As usual, focusing is difficult. There it is. That's yeah, got to be silver. I'm going to clean it up a bit here and see if there's any marks. I'll get back to you. Got another high tone right in the basically the same hole. I thought we look for it together in case it's another bracelet or if it's not then I guess you won't see this out ah, there it is <laughs> that's not another piece of jewelry it's an old fuse all right let's see on the next so I'm digging around in the dump site down from my house you can barely see it right over there behind the woodshed and the dog house and this whole hillside has been a dump since the about the 18, late 1870s. And I just poke around up here with the metal detector. Of course, there's so much trash, it's hard to dig, but I just dug up something pretty cool. Look at that. That's got to be a 20s automobile tail light. It says Duo Lamp on the top. I'm going to look it up and see, but it's got to be 20s, 30s, somewhere in there. Yeah, that's pretty neat. All right, I'm going to keep digging. Just got a fancy little piece of copper. I have no idea what this is off of. It's pretty neat. It's obviously somebody's personal item of some sort. I'm going to see if there's some more of it down here, but that's pretty neat. I like it. See you in the next. Just got me a little white glass hand cleaner container. Obviously the lid's what I heard. Look at this. You can still see where they were dipping their fingers in there before they tossed. I'm not sure where they got rid of it. There's still quite a bit in there. Maybe they just dropped it. Way down the hillside from my house now. It's way up there. Just checking this out. Found a couple bullet shells in this hand creamer. Gonna have to look in there a little bit more thoroughly. Make sure somebody didn't stash some coins in there, but sure doesn't look like it. Alrighty, let's see the next. Just got myself another sweet old cork top Clorox bottle. Yeah, I like these. This is uh, the fourth variety I found down here. So, Corwin Products Corporation, San Francisco. Yep, sweet. Stoked to have it. I don't have this one yet, but I'm going to keep digging up this signal. That's where I found it. It was in that hole. I'll get back to you if it's anything good. Yep, I got to put the detector away and come down here and do some bottle digging. Boy, it's too bad that's not complete. What a nice old bottle. Big old air pockets. Nice old cork top, no seam, that's got to be 1800s, yep, too bad it's not whole, but let me get down here and dig up this dump site here at some point, alrighty, see you on the next. Yep, I didn't film this when I found it, wasn't sure what it was, but turns out it's a little pewter salt shaker lid. That's pretty sweet. Not even going to attempt to straighten it out. That would uh, result in a pile of pewter bits, I suspect. But just thought I'd show you. That's pretty neat. It's definitely got some age. I heard it was the other day. Alright, I'm in my yard in Montana. This signal sounds really, really good. I really kind of hunted this area out. Ah, uh, what is that? Looks like a clad quarter. Bummer. Now that's the 
only good signal I've got in this little area right here. I'm getting ready to put some sod down, 1971. Bummer. I was hoping it was going to be a Silva, but here she blows. See you next. Nope, still digging in my yard. Just found a shell I've never found before. Let's see if it's a. It's an oldie. 4082 is what it says. WRA Company, 4082. Never heard of that caliber. Gonna have to look that one up. Alrighty, see you on the next. Alright, I got a. It's a pretty deep high tone. Bringing up a 8990. Alright, we'll let this dig this one and see uh, what we come up with. in the soil here in Montana. Everywhere you dig is bunches of rocks. Alright, let's see if we got it out of there now. Yep, got it out. Alright. Let's see what it's reading now. Boy, it sure sounds like a coin. 90. Oh, 92, 94, it's bouncing around. Let's see what it is. Huh, I'm not finding it here. like a weedy. Yeah, I was hoping it was going to be a silver. Let's see what the date is. Looks like uh, 52 maybe. Not, not very old. Wheat set though. Boy, I was really hoping it's going to be an older coin, but I'll take it. Alright, I'm still digging in my yard. I just scored. Another one of these beautiful garter clips with the hearts on them. Yeah, I got a set now. Oh, I'm pretty stoked with that. The other one I got was in a little bit better shape, but super happy with that. And out of the same hole, buff. That yeah, looks pretty nice, too. Yeah, that's got some detail on it. It's oh, it's got a date. Looks like 29. Yeah, 1929. Buffalo nickel and a sweet little garter clip. Super stoked. Alrighty, we'll see you on the next. Look at that. Get focus. Look at that neat old clock. It says patented lock, and I think it's Ilco, but I'm not sure. But it was uh, made in Fitz, looks like Fitzburg or Fitchburg, Massachusetts. So I'm gonna look that up and see what I can find out about that. But I dig it. I'm still in my yard here. I'm actually just outside uh, this old shed here, which my wife affectionately calls the hovel <laughs> yeah got some of my favorite things in there that's an old old shed likely late 1800s as well as my house but you look at that old rock foundation 
been working on the old house for quite a while, but uh, nice find on the lock. We'll see you on the next one. Boy, I uh, messed around with some settings on the days because my soil here is so incredibly unstable. Actually, where I hit this target here was uh, ground balance was at 61. Well, yeah, I got it running a little bit hot, but boy, I'm pulling up some more stuff. Check this out. I haven't looked at it yet. Oh, I think we got a piece of silver. And it's got a date on it. Oh my god, that's so awesome. Uh, let's see if we can get her to focus. 1225.73. Wow, that's got to be 1873. Look at that little piece of silver. FDR. <laughs> well doubt that's uh, Franklin Dillon or Roosevelt, but that's pretty awesome. I'll get a better picture of it later when I clean it up, but that is super, super cool. 1225.73. Awesome. Nice piece of silver. Oh, I love it. Yeah, this area is just so insanely infested with nails. There was a lot going on here back in the day and that's a pretty awesome relic I just found. Well, we'll see if I find anything else. Alrighty then. Just want to show a couple things here real quick. The uh, bits and pieces. You probably saw a few of these things. Got a little ointment tube which is pretty cool. It looks pretty old. There's no threads on it. So just had a cap. You know I got a couple of zincs, a quarter. Copper penny, three dimes. You saw this buffalo I don't even need to show it because I actually got a very good picture. When I dug it, got that wheat penny and this uh, this old shell. If anybody knows what this is or a date, it would be much appreciated. Let's see if we can get her to focus here. Yeah, 4082 WRA Company. I believe that's Winchester Round, but I've never heard of a 4082. And that's uh, it's pretty long copper there. It's pretty tall. And got a 30 caliber Ruger. Looks like it was pistol round. A little piece of junk jewelry. Nothing special there. A little zipper tie. And uh, the new program on the day is why I was getting these little bits and pieces down deep. And there's another little tube, lead tube top, and a bunch of pull tabs. And your various junk that sounds pretty good when it's down ways. But the better finds, this lock I believe is a 30s. That's Independent Law Company, and that's in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. There it is. That's a pretty cool old lock. I believe it's a 30. It probably came off my shed. You can see it was cut. Somebody lost the key to it a while back. And this, uh, love the, the garter clip. You can see the small heart and the big heart around it. I believe that was probably washed with uh, silver or gold at some point. But this is the second one I found. These were about 10 feet apart. And uh, found the other one in the wintertime when the snow just started to melt. And then I got this one. So I got a pair of them. I'm pretty happy with that. I have a fair collection of suspender clips and garter clips. And this is one of my favorite. Alrighty, and this is really neat. The, silver tag you saw me dig up i'm actually thinking it was probably a bracelet and it looks like fdr i suppose that could be a j dr i'm not sure but that was definitely handmade as you can tell by the fancies not lined up perfectly like it would be if it was made out of a machine but the neatest thing i just realized a few minutes ago is this appears it was a Christmas present, so it's not 73, that's 12, 25, 13. So I'm guessing that's a Christmas present somebody made, probably for a family member, maybe a girlfriend, or who knows. But uh, Christmas Day, 1913, that's pretty awesome. A little piece of silver. I found other silver on this property over the winter time. I got a Barber Dime and Mercury and a few other 
silver bits and pieces but that's my hunt for this time and uh, can't wait till my 11 inch coil gets back it's getting fixed and uh, I have to think that I'll be pulling some more treasures out of this yard it was uh, yeah, it was a fun hunt alrighty well we'll see you in the next hole cheers <laughs>